Here we go now. In tropical climes are certain times of day when all the citizens retire to take their clothes off and perspire. It's one of those rules that the greatest fools obey. Because the sun is far too sultry, and one must avoid its ultraviolet rays. Diggery, 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 The natives grieve when the white men leave their huts. Because they're obviously, definitely nuts. <laughs> Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. The Japanese don't care to. The Chinese wouldn't dare to. Hindus and Argentines, they firmly look tall to one. But Englishmen detest a siesta. In the Philippines, there are lovely screens to protect you from the glare. In the Malay states, there are hats like paints, which the Britishers won't wear. At 12 noon, the natives swoon and know for the work is done. But mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. Oh, very good. Wow. It's such a surprise for the Eastern eyes to see. What? That though the English are effete, they're quite impervious to heat. When the white man rides, every native hides in glee. Why is that? Because a simple creature's hope be well impair his soul or toe be on a tree. Hopping any, 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 It seems such a shame when the English claim ya. Yeah. Right to such hilarity and med <laughs> <laughs> Mad dogs and Englishmen go, go out in the midday sun. sun. The smallest melee rabbit deplores this awful habit. In Hong Kong, they strike a gong and fire off a new day gun to reprimand each inmate who's in late. Serves him right. In the mangrove swamps with the python rocks, there's peace from 12 to 2. And caribous lie around and snooze, there's nothing else to do. In Bengal, to move at all, you seldom if ever done. But mad dogs, dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday, 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 out in the mid